Engler is joining us today on Valentine's Day with something pretty cool, the science of roses. More Thank you for my Valentine's gift. There you go. <laughs> the Tito's down the The Tito's is perfect. You know, we started taking a look at uh, uh, all these little myths that are out there and, and the science behind. And, and if you understand the science, you understand what people are kind of thinking about. Yeah. But we all get flowers. If you take a look in the water, after three or four days, it starts to get a little yeah. slimy. Yeah. So the sugar, that additive, uh, you know, the little packet that the florist mm -hmm. gives you, um, really is a good kind of breeding ground for bacteria. So nice. that's why you change the water. So people have thought of things to put in there. So we've heard everything from drop pennies inside. They're thinking oh, yeah. that the copper doesn't really do anything. So not good science with the pennies. People are saying, how about an aspirin? That kind of, no, nah, it doesn't yeah. seem to help too much. Does so the Tito's things, work? Well, here's what happens. Uh, you try to do uh, <laughs> sugar. So sugar is the nutrient, but sugar kind of uh, spurs on the bacteria. So that's why people are putting a little bit of vinegar as well. So mm -hmm. the vinegar kind of kills the bacteria. The sugar is a nutrient. That's pretty darn good. Uh, same thing with like uh, a little bit of soda. Uh, they're trying to use vodka to kill the ethylene gas. The ga I don't know, just give that to the person it's who like really yeah. happy yeah. Valentine's Day. And that's how it works. Best one to do, believe it or not, FTD did a whole study and they said the best thing to do is just take your flowers and put them in a cool place at night and then bring them back out again. Oh, Change oh, the water every three okay. days. They're going to last for a long time. Simple. Can I show you the okay. coolest experiment? See, some yeah. of these have been colored. So if you have this your so cool. your carnations or your roses or whatever it might be, pull any of them out if you want to. If you take a look over here, I'm going to point, kind of point you down to these test tubes that are there. Notice how we split the stem. So we took the stem. It's an old experiment. You split it. You put one side in one food coloring, the oh. other side in the other okay. food coloring. And now look at the double that you get. So you get that beautiful double that's when you pan cool. up there. That's really, really kind of pretty. So that's a, a cool way to do it as well. So you see how it's split. It's blue on one side and it's red on the other side. You do the same thing with a rose if you want to. We've colored those flowers just by putting them in really dark food coloring. So it's going to be pretty, pretty dark that way. Let me move this off to the side because what science segment on Valentine's Day would be complete without liquid nitrogen? It, there's a, <laughs> or fire. See how it yeah, yeah, <laughs> See how it just like uh, shoehorned yeah. it in there right there? <laughs> if you smell the flower, it smells beautiful. You can get that oil out to make the perfume. And one of the ways they do that is they flash freeze it. So go ahead. Go ahead, Christine. Flash freeze. Okay. Right, it's like fondue. Get in there. We're right, like the oh, melting pot. It's really cool. Right, so they're so pretty. It's fine. So kind of inside there. So it freezes the water that's inside. And then in a laboratory, they can kind of pull it out here like this and they can crush it. Just use your hands. Ready, Gary? Just use your hands like this. Just crush. Ooh. Isn't, oh, it's, it's like cold. <laughs> well, Very yes, cool. It's called liquid <laughs> nitrogen. So it's, isn't that amazing? And now it really looks so nice. This is what it's you do beautiful. if you get flowers from somebody that you didn't want them from? Well, these are my yeah, wife's yeah. Valentine's yeah. Day. Yeah. This is what my <laughs> wife gets all the time. So she, this is what she gets. Kids all over the place have had these flowers crushed on their heads. It's a favorite with science teachers. So this goes down inside. Here you go. Squeeze those. Those are nice. Or just break those. There you go. Isn't it? it Your hands like are going to smell so fresh over the uh, over the course of the next couple hours. Wow. Look at that. The burning sensation will go away in a week. So that's fine. <laughs> Don't have to worry about it. So you're not supposed to give them to your wife after you well, do yeah, this. Well, yeah, you do. Yeah. These are called Adam's These Family Flowers. Oh. Look at those. Those are beautiful. <laughs> that's a science bouquet. Watch this. I'm going to complete your science bouquet. Watch this. Nobody wants those pesky little things I'm anyway. So, so look, there you go. Good. Oh. Just give that. Happy that's Valentine's a beautiful, Day. beautiful, oh. beautiful. Oh. Happy Valentine's Day. That's the way a science guy says Happy Valentine's Day. So if you happen to get that today, they give the guy Tito's. a break. Yeah, stick with some Tito's. Tito's. Right. You're going to need the aspirin because if you give the roses Tito's, it's going to need a little aspirin at the end. It's like if you Fair get enough. flowers from somebody that you don't want, it's what you can do. <laughs> hey, I put everything up on Facebook. So if you go to Facebook.com slash Steve Spangler, you got both experiments. you got how to color them and uh, all the remedies that are out there and kind of the science behind it if you're really interested in that all as well. Right. Okay. Steve knows how to impress women. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh yeah, check it yeah. out. A lot. I, yeah. My dating in high school was great. I took my wife to a demo show. That's what I did. <laughs> well, I met my wife in high school. Yeah, I there you go. High school, and I'm all hers. So all right, let's.